Okay, hello to the group. John Stir here in Holiday, Utah. I want to talk about line cutters and um, what's going on with these. Hopefully, I can um, do a quick, not a quick, but it's just a show and tell of my experience and yada yada moving forward. So, at first, I purchased um, these KVDs, Kevin Van Dam version of a line cutter, and these are available. Uh, throughout the web and different variations, but basically the same thing. Um, you have a, a, a capture right here, which allows it to stay closed, spring, and it's it's pretty robust. Um, this is curved. I don't know why that's curved, but it's curved. And then it has the uh, serrated cutter right here, and it's got some other things going on here, which are hard to understand, but figure out there's some directions in some of the packaging but this is what it is I wish it had a hole in here for a lanyard so I can uh, attach it to something but it doesn't <clears throat> some do and obviously some don't good it's a good tool but it's big it's fairly big and robust so then I went to this um, I found this at the Bass Pro um, Bass Pro and I don't know if it was in Las Vegas. I think it was in Las Vegas, which is a pretty good Bass Pro. They got a lot of stuff in there. Um, so this 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 cuts really well, but it's this this spring mechanism right here that when you're using it, it'll lock up on you. And it's like, okay, then you gotta take your other hand and push it forward and unlock it. And then you're using it again. And then depending upon what you do, it, it locks up and that just drives me crazy. But the great thing about this is it has this, this attachment right here. So you can attach this to your belt or a buttonhole or whatever, and now you have it ready to deploy. It's just this, this thing right here that, that is just, sometimes it works great. And other times if you, if you hold it and then, and then put pressure front, like it just did, it locks up and then, it, yeah, so. Um, not a real big fan. So, my brother sent me this link for the line cutters. And this is kind of the, the same thing here. I wish it had the pull, the pull bit, you know, the tether, but it doesn't, which is fine. But look, look how small it is. That is great. Oh, and it has a belt clip, which is handy. So I can clip it to my shirt or whatever. But it doesn't have this this pull this pull thingy. Um, but it kind of has the same mechanism. You got to push it forward to make it work. But as you're using it, it's not gonna. You know, it's 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 not gonna you know lock up on you. Well, I guess it locks up on you there. But it's not as easy to lock up. It is it is a little bit difficult to grip. I mean, it's almost like you got to be really dainty with it when you're, you know, I mean, I wish it had, it was a little more robust because when you're out there fishing and, and I don't know, it's a little too svelte. I wish it was, I wish it had more to it. It's got good packaging. This is the packaging. It comes in this and they're fairly inexpensive. I think they're 12 or $14 a piece. We'll see how long they last. The line cutters made in Tennessee. No oh, correction, made in Texas. I don't know why I thought they were Tennessee. Maybe it's shipped out of Tennessee. Um, I got some line right here. You know, these these work. Uh, let me adjust my glasses. These were great. And then these were great too. I remember back in the day when you fished monofilament, you just you just bit the line off. You just bit it off with your teeth. And that was it. You didn't need a line cutter. You didn't need a pair of scissors. But now with braid, holy moly, it's a whole other world. Things are just I don't know. Things are just different now, right? So um, 
And of course I'm left-handed, so when you're doing stuff left-handed, everything's upside down. Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, I'm a, I imagine that I'm going to be going through line cutters left and right till I find the ones I really like. And maybe maybe this, this stuff out there doesn't exist. Um, uh, but I'll, I'll keep uh, searching for it. And this is kind of interesting how, you know, this, it, this thing, I mean, you have a, you have a, you have a cutter that you can just pull down and it cuts it on the fly. I don't quite know why I would need that when I got cutters right here, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how that works. The line cutter. It, 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 supposedly from the packaging, it gets good reviews and it gets, gets good write-ups. Um, I wish this, I oh, see there, it locked up on me again. I just wish this thing wouldn't lock up. I don't know. And, and if I could, maybe I can take it apart and modify it and get rid of that whole lockup thing. Because these would be good too, but they're just, they're just like, this is like a piece of furniture. This is just huge. Maybe I maybe I just go back to scissors, or maybe you know what? Maybe I should try a pair of nail clippers on, uh, on one of these one of these pull things. Just put a a, a beefy pair of uh, nail clippers. But the nice thing about these blades is that they're serrated, and then that that serratedness <laughs> means means a lot when you're cutting stuff. It just it just works really, really micro serrated. I guess it's easier to see on these. I don't know. I don't know if you can see it or not. These have gotten some use, so they're kind of burnished. All right, that's my that's my rambling. I I hope this provided something. I don't know. The show and tell of line cutters, of line snippers, trimmers, whatever you want to call them. Okay, cheers.